girl, this is, uh, this is gonna be my tip video. I have been getting hit up so much via Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, um, from a lot of my non-couponer followers, and I said I would do this video to help you guys out. Uh, I'm gonna share with you guys some of my, like, five or six top tips I feel will totally help you be a more successful couponer. A lot of you guys are, um, want a coupon, you don't know where to start, and so, I thought I would take the time to do this video for you guys. I don't have a couponing video for today because I don't have my inserts yet for um, for this week. And so um, I won't be doing deals probably until later this week. My first tip is going to be to uh, learn the coupon policies of the stores that you will be frequenting the most. Um, if you'll be shopping at Target or Kmart or Walmart, then you need to go on their websites and you need to print up their coupon policies and read it and understand it. Um, if you're shopping at the drugstores, whether that be um, CVS, Walgreens, or, um, or Rite Aid, be aware of the coupon policies and make sure that you understand and you know them. There's do's and don'ts to couponing, and you want to make sure that you're following the rules of couponing. Otherwise, it's like fraudulent. <laughs> so you don't want that. And so definitely go and make sure that you print the policies because I will tell you more often than not, um, as you're starting off, you will need your coupon policies with you, not necessarily on you, but at least in your car. I keep mine in my binder, and so um, make sure you know the policies because a lot of times these cashiers or, or even management are not aware of their coupon policies. And so in my in the past, when I was learning, I had there's tons of times I had to take the coupon policy in and say, look, this is what it says here, you know, and and that's how I've gotten my way because it's in the policy and they just wasn't aware of it. Number two is how will you be getting your inserts and your coupons? Um, there's tons of ways that you can get coupons. Um, you can get them from the Sunday paper, which is how I have gotten them in the past. Um, some some newspapers like the LA Time I know have uh, early inserts on Saturdays, so in the paper is a little cheaper. Um, if you want, you can. Um, you can order your inserts. I have started ordering inserts instead. And I've ordered mine through, well, I used to go to a coupon uh, ferry uh, that was up here in the high desert, but she is kind of under the radar right now, so I'm kind of like, I'm forced to go um, to other avenues to get my inserts. And so I've been ordering from, um, oh, what's her name, Michelle? I think her name is Michelle from Instagram, and her Instagram handle is couponing number four us, which is a U U S. And I've been ordering from her, and she's a local person, and so um, it only takes a couple days to get the inserts. And so decide how you're going to get your inserts. That's the other way you can get coupons are through tear pads. They have tear pads literally everywhere. Like whatever store you go in, always be on the lookout for tear pads. Tear, for tear pads. Um, you can get, there's blinkies that come out of these automated machines. Um, there are, um, what else? There's peelies that are kind of stuck to items and those are the ones that you're really supposed to buy the product and then use the peely. Um, and what else? You can go online and print coupons. You can go to coupons.com, um, redcom.com, um, smartstores.com, you can go to target.com and and then you can go to certain websites, to specific websites to print coupons from their actual sites if they have them available. And so there's tons of ways that you can get inserts. I prefer to just purchase them. I no longer go to stores and buy stacks of, of newspapers anymore, and that just saves me time. If I can get my inserts on, let's say, Friday or Saturday versus Sunday, I can get them all clipped and ready to go. Okay, so once you decide um, how you're going to get your inserts, your uh, inserts, then you need to decide how, uh, what type of organizational method you choose to use. Are you going to do the whole file, the whole inserts uh, method, where you just can put them in little bins or little stacks and, um, and label them based on um, when they came out. Or you can choose to do the, the uh, binder method. I'm on the binder method because I like to just be able to clip my coupons and grab my binder and just go. I don't have to worry about checking databases. Um, databases are just a, a, a way that you can you can check to see where when coupons came out. Um, but I don't want to have to take the time to check databases to find out where coupons came from. And I like to just, like I said, grab my binder and go. It's in my car. It literally stays in my car unless I'm clipping coupons or unless I'm trying to work out transactions um, for the week. And so, uh, and again, it, there's not one right or wrong way as far as whatever method you choose to use. It's whatever method works best for you. I know people that, have that, um, that are on the, the file, the insert method, because they get tons and tons of inserts. And so, and that works for them. You know, and so it just all depends on you. Um, once you've decided that, you need to um, 
follow people. Don't feel like it's all on you to work all the deals and find all the deals. Like, follow certain people. Follow people that, that, um, that blog and stuff, that have blogs. Like, I know, uh, Saving with Betta. I followed her for a long time. She has a blog, and she, um, and she posts all the time. Um, Couponing with Greg, that dude has a blog as well. Um, free Finder, no, freestufffinder.com is another one. And then another one I go sometimes is Hit to Save. So there are tons of blogs that you can follow to learn and to find deals so that you're not out doing all the footwork. Um, follow people on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, um, what else? Um, Twitter if you want. Um, and so there's different, different uh, social media outlets that you can follow people. To, and all you have to do is put hashtag couponing community or something like that and you can find other couponers um, that post deals and you just basically can just follow what they're doing as well. And so it's not all on you. So that was that was four, right? And then the fifth one is, um, the, actually this, the, the fifth one goes along with organization because when you are actually putting your transactions together and stuff, you need to be organized. And when you go to the checkout, you need to make sure that you have your coupons ready and you kind of you know how much your total is going to be so that when they tell you your total I mean not including tax you can kind of know whether that's right or whether that's wrong because there's not there's nothing like getting to the to the checkout and you you thought your total was going to be twelve dollars and it's nineteen dollars you know what I'm saying and so just try to be organized in that way that's going to help you out it's going to make it easier for you it's going to make it easier for the cashier um, the sixth one is build a report with your cashiers. You get like get to know them. You know, get all friendly and chatty with them because I mean that's gonna get you the furthest. Is 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 in coupon, you guys. A lot of it comes down to the cashier. That's the first. That's like their line of defense. That's like the first person. So it's like if you go in there with a stank face attitude or whatever, like the freaking world is all on you and it's 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 yeah, it's like the world is against you and everything. Then. Things may not go as great for you, but go in there with a nice, happy, positive attitude, and and I think you'll get further there as well. But uh, but, but like I said, build rapport with your cashiers, get to know them. Um, I've learned that that will get that gets me the furthest. Um, I have had my share of rent videos. You guys have watched me for a while. I've had my share of rent videos. I don't do them anymore because I don't have any problems with couponing. Like I feel like. In essence, I feel like if this, if I don't get this deal at this store, I'm going to go to this store and I'm going to still get the deal. So regardless of what issues I have with this cashier, I will get the deal done. And, and I do. And so for me, it's just not worth me stressing out, getting my blood pressure up and cussing and fussing and, and hyping and piping. It's just, to me, it's just not worth it in Rent and Raven over nothing, you know. And so, um, and so yeah, see, I think that's basically it for you guys. Um, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, or, um, I'm on Sue too, but I'm trying to be active, but I'm just not that active. So I'm trying to, yeah, but I'll add my links in a little bar for you guys. I really hope this helped a lot of you guys out. Um, couponing is, is definitely a good thing, but it can be so incredibly stressful when you're learning and when you're unaware of a lot of the rules and stuff. And. I learned a lot in the beginning, and I made tons and tons of mistakes. I, I've made mistakes from time to time now, but I made tons of tons of mistakes in the past. And I overpaid time and time again. Um, and so, but I've learned, you know what I'm saying? And coupon is just definitely a good thing. It will save you an enormous amount of money. Yeah, I know I have 100 bottles of shampoo and conditioner, and, you know, yeah, I have pads and tampons for like the next 10 years but <laughs> I'm just joking I'm just joking but the point is is to stock up on things when they're really nice and low and you just stock up enough to carry you to the next cycle and that's basically what I do I, I have tons of things you guys know I'm, I'm having a baby soon well not soon but um in October and I'm telling you I have a good 18 boxes of diapers already and these are like the one these are like the 100 to, to 120 count boxes so I'm really trying to be as ready as I can and as prepared as I can and so I'm whenever there's a deal I'm so freaking there um, but definitely stock up when things are low to carry you so that you're not rushing out at who knows what time paying full price on something like when I have to pay full price on something it hurts my heart <laughs> hurts my pocket too but 
but it really hurts and I, and I, and I, it ir irritates me when I, when I have to pay full price on stuff. So to avoid that, I get it when it's low and I get plenty of it. So I'll leave it there. Again, I hope this really helps you guys. If you guys have any more questions you want to ask, definitely feel free to, to do so in the comment section. Again, if you want to add me on Instagram, Facebook, um, or Sue, I'll leave my links in the little bar. As always, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later, guys.